Exercise 24, Shape Fill, part of the PowerPoint 2007 Exam Prep Guide brought to you by ShiftKey Solutions. In this exercise, we're going to be looking at the different fill effects that we can apply to a shape. So here we are on slide 2. We're going to come over and select our rounded rectangle shape. And then we're going to come up to our Drawing Tools Contextual Format tab. And then here in the Styles group, we have the different effects that we can apply. We're going to be looking specifically at the shape fill. So as I click my shape fill drop down, I have a long list of things that I can use to fill this shape with. I have some theme colors to choose from. I have standard colors to choose from. Some of those are kind of neat. I also have some recent colors that I can use. PowerPoint remembers some recent colors. I can do no fill. I can choose more fill colors. It gives me my extended palette. I can fill it with a picture. I can choose a gradient style. These are some preset gradients, or I can do more gradients. Or I can come to my textures and fill it with a texture. And that's what we're going to do in exercise. You'll notice that as I cursor over these, like anything else, it gives me a screen tip as to the name of the texture in this case, this one's sand, and it also gives me a nice live preview of what it's going to look like in my shape. Sand may be a poor choice. We have our brown marble, that's kind of neat. Fish fossil is always neat. And then our paper bag, water droplets, and so on. The one we're going to choose is our water droplet. I'll click this and it applies it. If I click off of the shape, I can see that, okay, that's kind of neat. I'm going to come up to my quick access toolbar. I'm going to save my work. And that concludes exercise 24, shape fill. Next will be exercise 25, shape outline style.